Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm excited today. I'm getting company. My son and his wife are coming to visit for the weekend. I'm going to be reading to you from my book, Jesus Calling. Today is October 6th. Here we go. Be willing to follow wherever I lead. Follow me wholeheartedly with glad anticipation quickening your pace. Though you don't know what lies ahead, I know, and that is enough. Some of my richest blessings are just around the bend, out of sight, but nonetheless very real. To receive these gifts, you must walk by faith and not by sight. This doesn't mean closing your eyes to what is all around you. It means subordinating the visible world to the invisible shepherd of your soul. Oh, that is good. Sometimes I lead you up a high mountain with only my hand to support you. The higher you climb, the more spectacular the view becomes. Also, the more keenly you sense your separation from the world with all its problems. This frees you to experience exuberantly the joyous reality of my presence. Give yourself fully to these glory moments, awash with dazzling light. I will eventually lead you down the mountain, back into community with others. Let my light continue to shine within you as you walk among people again. Wow, that is amazing. I've had those, uh, mountaintop experiences with Jesus. And when I look at the world, the problems fade because I am with the one who has the problems in his hands. He walks us through them. Okay, here are the verses. We live by faith, not by sight. That is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. That is Psalm 96, verse 6. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. That is John chapter 8, verse 12. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. That is Psalm chapter 36, verse 9. I thank you all so much for reading these devotionals with me. And it is so true. Wherever Jesus leads, we need to follow. Wherever God leads us. He's got a purpose for us. We may not know what it is. He may lead us to go somewhere we don't want to go. But if we shine the light of Christ, people will take notice. People will notice that, hey, what's this person all bright and shiny and chipper for? 
What do they have that I don't? I want what they have. And that is our purpose to go to, sometimes to places we don't necessarily want to go to. I hope you all have a great day and that <clears throat> you stay close to Jesus, close to God, and ask him where he wants you today. Is there some place you need to go, somebody you need to talk to? Maybe it's helping a neighbor across the street. Maybe it's befriending a co-worker. Who knows? But God's got a purpose for your life. Ask him what he wants you to do, where he wants you to go. All right, everyone, have a blessed day. I wanted to let you know that I am done with, I worked in the ends of my face cloth. It is so nice and soft with this cotton wheel cotton or sugar wheel cotton. And I started making another one, a little smaller, I think. Let me put this up. But I just did single crochet so far in the first row. And I did them in the back loop only so the edge is really pretty, the bottom of it. It looks like the same as the top almost. So I'm going to just see, I'm doing it a little differently. I started with a row of single crochets. I may do double crochets and switch it up single one row of singles one row of doubles one row of singles one row of doubles that's what i'm thinking anyway and i'll show you as i get further along i thank you all for watching um i'm on round 106 of the liliana afghan I will show that to you later. So I just started row round 106. So we'll see how that goes. Have a great day, everyone. You do all take care. Till next time.